আমি তো ফো আইম শি ফু কানিস্কা অলসো নোন এস শি ইন ইউ ইন শাওলন টেম্পল চাইনা টুডে আই উইল বি টকিং অবাউট ইন্টারনাল অ্যান্ড এক্সটার্নাল কুমফু ইন্টারনাল কুমফু ইস নোন এস নি গং এক্সটার্নাল কুমফু ইস নোন এস ওয়াই গং বোথ দ্য কুমফু হ্যাজ থ্রি কমন এলিমেন্টস ফার্স্ট ইজ ইউর মাইন্ড সেকেন্ড ইজ ইউর চি third is your action which is your physical body action is external mind is internal the power is developed from mind so the question is what should be developed first your body or your mind should be body mind or spirit or mind body and spirit Internal martial arts goes from internal to external. They go from mind to action. External martial arts goes from external to internal, which goes from physical action towards the mind. So if you see, both the system have same destination. There is no difference. Now, I will be talking about Ni Gong Ni Gong also referred as internal kung fu means internal skills In Ni Gong the flow of chi is very important The flow of chi depends on Shin Yi Shin is your heart Yi is your mind You learn to develop your internal power by developing more chi and maximizing your circulation by coordinating your breath and movements using traditional martial arts movements you will experience incredible benefits for your health and martial arts practice and now i want to talk about chi gong chi is energy gong is a set of movement chi gong also has external and internal sitting and standing what i call standing chi gong you have hundreds of variation in chinese martial arts the most famous in shaolin temple is si shui jing bone marrow washing yi jin jing muscle tendon changing and the qigong which was developed from these two is called baduan jin the eight golden treasure brocade where your movement and breath goes together with the intent howsoever in the high level of sitting meditation the mind is very important as there is a very little physical movement which only happens in your lower dantian while you are meditating The main purpose of this qigong is to develop a peaceful and a calm mind. The best qigong for body is a blend of both internal and external. Let me give you an example of how qi works with the principles of yin and yang. When you are excited or you're too happy, your body is more yang. In that situation you exhale more than you inhale which leads the chi to the skin and that makes you sweat When you are sad feeling low your body is yin you inhale more than you exhale and that leads to feeling of being cold the blood pressure being dropped So if you see breathing is a main reason or a component which can change your body from yin to yang The yin and yang should be balanced in the body and that is the reason meditation is very important. While you do the meditation the time of inhale and exhale should be balanced. Your heart should be calm. The mind empty. I'll give you one more example. When you are excited as i mentioned you are yang 
to bring your body to balanced you should inhale more inside the body so that your mind becomes more calm my friends try and meditate every day 5 minutes before your training and 5 minutes after your training to feel the difference for more information please log on to my website www.shaolinindia.com or you can email me on shaolin3.kanishka@gmail.com take care stay safe and be healthy amitofu